All right, I am super excited and pleased to be talking with uh, Dr. John Whitcomb, who uh, definitely had an impact on me understanding that there is more to healthcare, there's more to optimizing health, there is, um, and I am a curious person by nature, and uh, I'm in an industry that the two things collided, and I met this guy who is, um, spent a lot of years with Aurora, uh, managing ER and uh, teaching, and he seemed to get engaged with uh, functional medicine and the idea of preventing disease, optimizing the aging process and aging in a robust way. So Dr. John Whitcomb is in private practice and is a guy that I am honored to be talking to today. And uh, I'm just going to let him take it from there. Well, I'm glad to be with you. I've got, we've got lots of things to talk about, so we can go on for days at a time because you keep asking good questions. Yeah. So let's start with... Um, a, a topic that people are probably familiar with, which is um, COVID, this thing that's going around. Uh, let's discuss potentially, and maybe you'll have a different take on this, it's not going away. So how do we best set ourselves up to manage this process, well, masking up, washing hands, social distancing, all these things, but what can we do ourselves to become more bulletproof in our immune system? Actually, a list of things, and we can go in a, an order if you'd like, but for example, uh, your immune system is dependent on a vitamin you only make during the summer called vitamin D. And right now, we're still getting adequate sunlight, but in just a month, the angle of the sun starts getting so low that we stop making sufficient vitamin D. There's a toll receptor protein in your body that you don't make when your blood level gets below 32. And in Wisconsin, Caucasian people get up to about 45 in the summer, and we hit 32 about November 1st. And from November 1st to April 1st, we make no cathelicidin. And cathelicidin is the peptide that your body makes. It's basically a donut. It's a simple little amino acid ring, but it somehow intercalates itself into the wall of bacteria, viruses, and fungi, and they leak all their guts out and die. So it's a crack, but it's your own natural antibiotic. You don't make one iota of pathocidin when you get below 32. The evidence shows in COVID that people who get COVID who have a vitamin D level of 50 versus those at 20 have a 90% difference in mortality. Why isn't everybody on vitamin D? Uh, 